My name is Cindy Finn and I'm the Director of Student Services at the Lester B. Pearson School Board. I think it's really important to get away from some of the jargon. I think we throw around a lot of these acronyms and people aren't quite sure what we're talking about. But when you say to someone, think about yourself as a learner, what works best for you? Do you need flexibility in terms of what you learn, what time you learn, how you learn? And if that's the case, then don't you think we need to give that option to our students? So if we understand that at the heart of this movement is really about the flexibility to allow learning to happen, it means we can go in all kinds of really exciting directions. So I think the first step is to talk to teachers and, and, and really get them excited about the fact that what we're trying to do is enhance learning and if we can engage learners, if we can get them passionate, we just enhance all that kind of learning. So it would be really important for the, the decision makers to have a conversation with staff to see what are we trying to do, what is our mission as educators, and if we all agree on that mission, let's try to think of some ways that we can tap into that passion and, and, and really engage our learners and hook them. And, and to be creative and encourage people to think out of the box. We know, I mean, there's a lot of evidence now, so it's not just an idea that comes from, you know, creating something without knowing if it works. There's a lot of evidence, and if you look at cognitive neuroscience, that says flexibility helps people not only learn information, but retain information. So if people have choice in what they learn or how they tell you what they've learned, then you're just able to maximize the success and ultimately the engagement of students.